come back again. He's back too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so as voted upon by everybody in my social media post, everybody wanted to see Nick again. And this time they decided they wanted to see us figure out how well we really know each other. In June on the 23rd, it will be two years of us being together. And November 21st will be a year of us being engaged. So what a fun way to see how well we know each other before we get married in 2023 by figuring out how well we really know each other. Now, off camera, we decided we were going to play this where the loser from the previous game goes first. I lost four to eight, and he had six to eight. So I will be going first, meaning you're going to be asking me questions. Yep. I will be answering his questions. We came up with ten questions for both of us to ask each other. And if I may seem a little bit more off than usual, it is because I have a nice glass of rosé here with me. So Bottoms up. Bottoms up. Ask away, babe. My first question, I'm not going to go in order because I just thought of them uh, randomly. So, who is my inspiration? I'll give you a hard one first. Who's your inspiration? Your inspiration for what? Being a person. Okay. And you get two hints. Two hints per question? Per question. Oh, okay. I was going to say two hints for the entire thing. That's going to be even more of a tough thing. You can't take back. Fine. Too late. Fine, fine. Can I ask a question mm. about your question? Mm. For clarification? Yes. Can this person be a real person or a fictional character? It is a real person. It is a real person? Okay. I'll count that as a hint. Damn, really? Yes. It's a real person. It mm. could be anybody. Well, it's someone near and dear to my heart. Your grandfather? There you go. Ah, I actually got that. I really had to think about that one. I guess what helped me was asking if it was a fictional character or a real person. You get little check marks by the ones you say correct and you get big X's that say you failed. <laughs> okay. Where is my dream vacation? Where's your dream vacation? Uh, man, you went hard on me. I gave you like really simple questions. Yours are like coming out the gate rough. Well, that one's not that hard. I've talked about these multiple times. Where well, I would love to go for a vacation. Can it have? Can you have multiple answers? Because I have multiple answers. Mm, I guess you can even give a broad answer. I'll take that. What does a broad answer mean? Europe? No. One more try. First of all, I had in mind two countries, and I don't think both of those countries are in the same continent. Can I just give the countries I was thinking? Nope. Same place. I either have to say the country or I have to say the continent. That's what you're telling me? Yeah. Asia? Or I have Asia. Okay, so at least I got the continent, right? Japan? Okay. I mean, not what I was thinking, no. That is somewhere that I would love to have to go to. So I'm not right? No. Really? I thought Japan for sure. Japan I would love to live in, but my dream vacation would be Hawaii. Hawaii's in North America. I know, but you were right with one thing. What? Japan was a place that I liked. You literally said to me, when I said to you Asia, you said it is a part of Asia. Hawaii is not a part of Asia. It is North America. I know that part. So then why would you tell me that? That's not true. Because I Japan popped into my head. I was like, oh, I would love to go to Japan. So you literally changed your answer and then changed it back to the original answer? That's No, you can't do that. All right, fine. I won't count that question. No, that you're going to count it as me being right because you decided to change your mind from the original answer. I only changed my mind for a split second. 
Mm-mm. And okay, give me half a point for it then, because I was half right. Half a point. Yes, <laughs> what I get. Point if this doesn't count. Yes, it does. I have one and a half points. Give Fine. me. Fine. We'll give her half a point. Give me half a point because so I was half right. Trying to change the answer on me at the last minute. No, you don't get that. Then I get that in my questions. And you can't question me about no, it. No, I'll just give you the question. No, just give me the no, half. No, no, because the half doesn't make sense. Yes, it does. It's one and a half points. It'll be a half a point ahead. Next one. Okay. <laughs> what is my favorite sport? You don't have a favorite sport. I do. It is a sport. Something with hacky sex? No. I like hacky sack. I haven't played in a while, but no. Swimming? Nope. Yep, oh, those are your two. Then what is it? Bowling. <gasps> Shit, I forgot you were on a bowling league. Oh my god. You know what it is? Because I know you like to be out in nature. And you love being in the pool in the summer because you told me that. Mm-hmm. Fuck, I'm pissed. I forgot you were in a fucking bowling league. This one should be easy for you. Uh-huh. What's my favorite nickname for you? Your favorite nickname for me? Mm-hmm. You call me Shell. No. When you say baby girl. There you go. <laughs> I just thought about it in my head. Baby girl. <laughs> You're so cute when you say that. That's your favorite? Really? Yeah, I'll call you my baby girl. <laughs> I love it too. What is my favorite movie? Favorite movie. You're gonna get this one wrong. Because someone doesn't like to watch movies with me. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Close. Very close. Because you lent Jesse the book and you wanted it back so badly. I got it back. It's somewhere I, in my Yeah, because the last time we were there, you got it back from him. I don't remember. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was there for that. Okay. That was the chair, folks. Here's my hint Is the movie that's your favorite movie in the same genre of movies as Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? No, it's not a sci-fi. No, it's not. The Tigers is comedy sci-fi. I guess I'm gonna have to ask another hint because I'm still not sure. What genre of movie is it? Um, if it is not sci-fi. I don't know what to consider it. What do you mean you don't know what to consider? It's either a comedy, a horror, it's either a rom-com, it's <laughs> either... It's do either, I ever like rom com I'm just giving you options of movie genres um, to go off of. Oh, well, so far I know you're wrong on all three of those. These are the hints, folk. <laughs> it is not the actual answer. I need help getting to the actual answer to give him an actual answer. I'm telling you, you're not going to get this one. I have like so many like options of movies in my head right now and you your hint basically took half of the answers I had out so now I'm trying to think of a whole new answer to come up with <laughs> sorry babe it has one of our favorite actors in it there's my last scent that's our favorite oh yeah because we like the same person what's that movie that was based off a of book that the lyrics to the Avenged Sevenfold Bat Country again. I know what movie you're talking about. You're wrong. But, again, very close. I like that, though. You really thought about that one. That was good. I tried to think about it, yeah. Because I, I, I remember you said that was also a good movie that you actually considered a favorite, too. Oh, God, yes. That's an amazing movie. If you're on those in Las Vegas, hell yes. But no, the answer, folks, is Birdman. It has Michael Keaton in it. Oh, wait, let me find the full yeah. title of the movie. Birdman? Mm-hmm. Well, Mike, Michael Keaton is one of the best it's Batmans. It's called Birdman, or The Unexpected Virtue of Ignorance. You talked about that around me? I have. I do not remember you talking about that with me. I swear swear you told me that Hitchhiker's Guide was your favorite. That's why you wanted the book back so badly. I wanted the book back so I could read the book again. Yeah, because you love the movie. Also, the book is and the book. The, the book is better than the movie. <sighs> but still, uh, 
So far, you're three for five. Who is my favorite celebrity? Favorite celebrity? Oh man, my favorite celebrity. You told me to pick questions, and I suck at asking questions. So I'm sorry that these are coming out so hard. My questions are so much easier than this, and I'm going to laugh at how well you're. No, you're gonna get mine right. <laughs> these, I just feel so horrible. Oh my god. No, please don't feel horrible. My favorite celebrity is that. Is it a movie star celebrity or is yes. it a musician celebrity? Movie star. It's not Johnny Depp. Nope. Keanu? Yes. <gasps> yes! I love Keanu. If I should count that since you said it's not Johnny Depp. But I said the right answer the second time. Mm. No, no, no. Should we give that to yes. you? Yes. I don't think we yes. Should. I gave you the right answer the second time. Mm -hmm. That counts. Um, yes, it does. If you're gonna play that game, and hand, hand if you grenades. if you're gonna do that to me, then I'm not counting your second guesses on my questions. <laughs> what was our first concert? Oh my God! I'm gonna have to change one of my questions. That's the exact question I put. <laughs> what was the first concert we went to? Oh, shit. I'm going to have to come up with a question then. Great minds think alike. Oh, shit. I can't believe you asked that. I asked that. Our first concert was at the PNC Arts Center. And it was called... Why can't I think of the name of it right now? Either way, she is correct. I'm just curious if she remembers the name. Because I think I remember the name. Was it Uproar? No, it was. I'm positive it wasn't up for. It was something punk or whatever. Where's your phone? Go look it up. I posted. I posted pictures from it. It'll be on my profile because I posted pictures that day, and I forget the name exactly, but I remember. It was at the PNC Art Center. Atreyu played, Sleeping with Sirens played, and you were running around in a circle during Sleeping with Sirens. I got sick during circle a tray. Bit. I got sick during a tray you because I, we were drinking in the sun. It, it was bad. Right there, that one. Disrupt. Disrupt. Okay. Disrupt Festival, and. Memphis Mayfire was playing, and that's who I wanted to see because I never saw them before. And we were in the parking lot tailgating and missed them. We goofed. At least we saw Sleeping with Sirens, and he ran around in a circle for that. So. It was fun. <laughs> Damn, I have to, I have to change my question then because you literally asked the same one as me. Where's my favorite game? Destiny. Nope. It's a game called Beautiful Joe. That is my favorite game of all time that I can play over and over what again. What the hell is Beautiful Joe? I'll show you since we have the Wii hooked up in your room. It's The game is in one of the totes. Beautiful it's Joe? Is that, beautiful. The guy, is that the guy in the red jumpsuit? Yes! That, that, that reminds me of Mega Man a little bit. A little bit, not a lot. Okay, I'll take that, but yes, no. So that wrong, but... I never played that. I saw it, but I never played it. What's next, baby? When did I first kiss you? Of course. You put when, I put when. Do not answer that yet. When? Oh wait, then I have to change my question because I'm gonna give the answer in my answer. Oh Sorry, my babe. god. So, so I have to so I have to change two of my questions now. We'll go on intermission since she You kissed me mm, she kinda warned us. The day we had our official first kiss, which was in the parking lot of Quick Check yeah, by bank? our job when we were working together. Correct. And it was about maybe like two or three days after our first date. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I have to change my question now. Because I just gave the answer to my question and that. Last question, folks, and this is the big one. When did 
and first say I love you. Thank God I didn't ask that question. <laughs> you said I love you when we were coming back from Foam and Glow 5K Run in Philadelphia in August of 2019. All right, folks. She set the bar high for me. She got seven right. Out of I'm bummed. We'll see about that. <laughs> now it's your turn. Nope. Now we take a short intermission while she rewrites two of her questions. Oh, shit, that's right. I do have to do that. And I'm pouring myself another glass of wine. Okay. Be right back, folks. And we're back. Hi, folks. I only had to change one question because my one question, or the question I thought was going to be the same question as his, was actually not. So I got lucky. I only had to change one. We'll see. What is my favorite holiday? Halloween. Okay, see, I told you, you're gonna get mine. One, two, three, you're gonna get mine. I, again, I don't know about that. That was so. That was an easy one so far. What was the first outfit I wore on our first date? Oh, our first date. I believe it was a blue jumper. I have two blue jumpers, you gotta be specific. Is it the one with the sleeves or the one without the sleeves? Oh, it's the one with the sleeves. It was a pattern. It was white stripes. Vertical? Yeah, vertical stripes. But what color was the jumpsuit? Blue. Damn, you really are gonna get these. Hey, <laughs> okay, I'm two out of ten. That was the question I thought I was going to have to change, but I didn't have to because it wasn't related. No, that's not related at all. It's not related at all. But yeah, I just wore that jumper recently when we went out with friends. That's probably why he remembers it so well, because I just wore it recently. One thing that I love about you physically. Physically? Yes. I've said this before. I will give you multiple answers if you can figure it out. But you also get two hints, like you gave me. Upper or lower half? We're keeping this PG-13, so it's so your- the upper so half. So it's your upper half. My chest? No, that is not one of them. Oh wait, that's right. I only got one wrong, and he didn't count my second guess. So, the same goes for you. With that being said, it is your smile. My smile. Yes. I have talked about how cute you look when you smile. Walburns. I would have also accepted if you said it. I love when you laugh. <laughs> I love your laugh. I would have accepted that answer if you gave it to me, but you did not so give you have me. multiple answers. I said I would accept multiple answers, but you did not give me multiple answers, therefore you do not get the point. She accepts multiple answers, just not the answer I give. Because you said it was the physical, and then you said the chest. I said no, it was not the chest. What was our first vacation together? Can I, I consider it a vacation or a date? Hmm. I know what you're gonna say, and I'm going to rebuttal that with no, that does not count. Okay. Our first vacation was for your birthday to oh my god you really don't remember no i do remember i, I want to say south carolina but i know that's wrong yeah that is wrong oh duh myrtle beach there you go bingo he got that one right i knew south carolina sounded wrong south carolina no south carolina was where you went for mike's bachelor party we were talking about and that earlier. We That's were why talking I was about head. that before we went on our first date. So yeah. that is why you thought of South Carolina. That is incorrect, though. Aww. I but but I do know what he was going to refer to as our first vacation because after our first date, he asked me to go to New York with him for the weekend before we officially made it official that we were dating. He asked me to go to New York with him for the weekend, and that's what he was going to say was the answer, but I said no, because that is not a legit answer, because we were not a couple then. We made it official a month later. 
that does not count as a couple vacation. Mm-hmm. Anyhow, listen, you got three out of the ten right so far. And how many have you asked? Five? I've asked four. Okay. My next question is, what are my favorite band slash bands? I will accept multiple answers for this. Motionless and White, A Day to Remember. I know you love Lindsey Sterling, but I won't say she's your favorite. I, Evanescence. I will accept the first two because they are the top tier of my favorite bands. So okay. I will accept the first two. Evanescence is very good. I love her, but not as much as I love Motionless and A Day to Remember. I will give that to you for the first two What's answers. By the way, the sound in the background has been Nick's ps4 running in the background if Sorry, you were wondering it's quiet now. yeah but i don't think i'm gonna get copyrighted for that because it's just the sound in the background but i may because it's from kingdom hearts but i don't know i guess i'll try to look that up and you know write down the link for that That's so that way i don't hear it in the background i will find out when i'm editing this anyway back what is my favorite type of alcohol slash wine. So when you said it, alcohol, I was going to say, oh, wine. That's I easy. was just about to say, I knew you were going to say wine, hence why I said wine after that. You love your Tomasello slushy. As much as I do like that, that's not my favorite wine. Wagon House? Oh, you're thinking of, like, brands. Oh, like, then what were you referring to? I was referring to, oh, like, a type, type of, wine. of wine. Oh. But oh. next time or no, no, in the next future. Time, I misunderstood the question. I misunderstood the question. I was going to say next time in a future video, I can talk about, like, my favorite wines with you guys. Can you do wine Eat. pairings? I, I can, I'll even do the video with him if you want, but if not, I'll just do the video solo, just talking about like different wines and stuff. If that's what you're interested well, more in, more of her, not me. Listen, he's becoming a little wine connoisseur because of me. Anyway, what is my favorite type of wine? A rosé. No. Ouch. Sangria. I love my sangria. Eh, that's a combination of different things. It's considered a wine. All right, fair. Sangria is considered a wine. It is mostly made up of wine. So, therefore, it is sangria. Okay, fair enough. I would have also accepted sweet wines, which would have been Moscato. So, I would have accepted that answer as well. What is my favorite color? Purple. Very good. As you couldn't already tell, the fact my hair is purple. He's wearing a purple shirt. I'm wearing a purple I was sweater. Too. How did you know I was going to wear purple? Oh, you saw my Instagram post, which is on my beauty page. That is linked in the description below. You also sent me a picture of what you were wearing before you made a post. This is very true. I did. I sent him pictures before I posted pictures. Maroon. 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 It if means oh my. That's, I thought you were saying maroon, like the color. You're a maroon. Mm, you're a moron, is what you <laughs> meant. No, that was the joke, num nuts. Next question. <laughs> what is my favorite food? If you really don't know the answer to this. See, I want to say it's, I know it's mac and cheese, but I want to yes. say lobster mac and cheese. It's ma mac and cheese is acceptable. Lobster mac and cheese is just as good, but I will accept mac and cheese because you could put anything in mac and cheese. You could put lobster, bacon, chicken, beef. You could put anything in mac and cheese. So I will accept mac and cheese as the answer because that is the correct answer. <laughs> so very good. We're down to two more questions. Oh my. What are my favorite Top two movies. Nightmare Before Christmas. Correct. Remember Sister Hands? Really? No, duh. Oh my god. No, I got that one wrong. I'm going to say yeah, I got that wrong no, by the answer. You're not counting. Beetlejuice. It doesn't count because you guess. I know. I, you guess I just said. I said. First. I know. I know. I just said. I was wrong, so I missed this question. Your top two are Nightmare Before Christmas and Beetlejuice. Yes, it is Beetlejuice. I was right with the Tim Burton, but I, I, I don't will know why. Just ever since it popped into my head. See, I will give you half a point for that because I put top two. So, I am no, going... No, that doesn't count. 
Oh, yes. Okay, you said top two, fine. Uh, yeah, I said top two favorite movies. So therefore, I will count half a point because you got one right, not the other. I will take it. Because you, you know points. that Beetlejuice is one of my favorite movies. I love Michael Keaton. Yes, I know. Come on, we were just talking about him with fucking Batman. No, I know, and Birdman, so I messed up. He's in a lot of man movies. Yeah, Batman. Beetlejuice is a man, Beetle but man. but his name is not Beetleman. I know. So, and the last and final question is, what is my favorite anime? Hunter Hunter. See, that one's tough because I have multiple answers for this, but I didn't write multiple answers. I put specifically favorite anime. So, and I did say to you before I videotaped this that I will accept multiple answers. So, since you guessed that one, I will give it to you. I would have also accepted my Inuyasha, Inuyasha and My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia. But... Hunter I is... I got into My Hero. Yes, he did get me into My Hero Academia. You were hesitant at first. I was, because I didn't think I was going to like it. And honestly, I'm thinking of re-watching uh, Attack on Titans, because a bunch of people at my job keep talking about Attack on Titans. So now I want to re-watch Attack Titan. on Titans. Whatever. Titan. Attack on Titan. Whatever. I'm going to count mine. You got eight and a half points. And I only got six or seven in yours. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He got eight and a half of my questions right. Out of his seven, I guessed right on his. So you know what that means. Yeah. She does a shot. She does two shots. We might do shots, actually. I wouldn't mind. I mean, we are drinking wine already, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to have a shot. She lost. <laughs> I'm really surprised I won. I should I... have won that. You know, I'm very surprised about that, too. But it is what it is. <laughs> also, for those who are wondering what I'm drinking, I am drinking Apothic Rosé California. It is... A blend of strawberry and watermelon with a hint of raspberry for a refreshing wine that is light in color yet dark in nature. So this is considered probably a semi-sweet wine, not a sweet and not a dry wine. So if you are the kind of person that is looking for a semi-sweet wine, I would probably rate this maybe like a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good on its own. But I think if you paired it with a food or a snack, I think that would be much better. And he is more of a dry wine drinker as opposed to myself. I prefer either a semi-sweet, but I go more towards the sweet wines. So he got the Passi One Mento, which is a Indicazoin... Geographica Typica. It says this elegant and velvety red wine is partially produced with grapes that have been slightly dried before fermentation. And it is a dry red. So, babe, what rating would you give it? For that wine, I would give it 7 out of 10. It's good. I like it. Would you recommend drinking it on its own, or would you say it's better if you paired it with a mm. meal of some sort? Definitely if you pair it with a meal. By itself, it's okay. I'm doing because we came back from a very big meal, so I'm full and I cannot eat another bite right now. But I still think that it's pretty good on its own. Well, you're to here, folks. We shall return. We're going to do a shot or two, and then we will be back to end the video. And we're back, four shots later, two from each of us. Two each. Well, I did three. I thought I was only going to have to do one. Mm -hmm. What do you mean you did three? I did an extra one. When did you do an extra one? Before I put it away. Anyway, I only did two, he did three. We are going to end it here. 
and uh, if you would like to see us do another video again in the future and you have any ideas please comment below and until my next video i'll see you guys soon bye bye everyone mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. bye guys uh -huh.